what is up everybody welcome back to the channel what i'm going to be doing is taking you through um, the full setup from start to finish of how i set up a facebook video ad um and so i'm going to walk you through exactly the process and step by step from beginning to end so here's what i do first you guys um i'll have the pay, the post the video go up on the page first so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here to facebook and I'm going to add this video, okay? So let me um, add this video here. Just click on add video, and then I'm going to simply find that video and post it and click it right there, okay? So depending on how long the video is, this will take, um, this will take a few seconds up to a few minutes, but as the video is uploading, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write out the text. So here is, some basic basic text and what i normally do is i'll put the actual um like i'll grab something from the actual body of the of the text and i'll use that as the actual title so in this case this is what the client sent me over and then i'm going to use that part as the title okay that's the title and then we have the actual description right here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the actual description. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add some emojis. And I'm just going to put a couple, not nothing, you know, nothing too crazy, but just a little bit to, to kind of bring some life to the page or to the post, I should say. Um, so I use this whole emoji copy.com page. So let me grab one from here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Um, interested in buying a home. Um, let's see, let's go with, okay. So press the step by step with a clear to close, watch and click for your free home buying information guide. Okay. So Let's take this part out because that part's not going to be on this one. And then what I also do is I do the subtitles also. So um, let me find an actual. Where is the freaking? I'll put I'll put this one. And then subtitles, what I'll do is your video is still uploading. So it'll let me know when the actual subtitles uh, will be available. But subtitles is for sure what I add. Um, and then in the video detail, you could put you could put some tags. Um, but to tell you the truth, I don't know about say rental listings. See, the ones that I want aren't even there. Mm, I'll put a couple tags, if anything, but nothing, nothing too crazy. And then what I do is I also check the thumbnails. So I'll scroll over to an actual one that's somewhat... This one looks kind of crazy, right? She looks like she's flipping out, right? She looks like she's surprised. This one right here to this pointing. I want to try to get something catchy, but I'll leave it at that one. I'll leave, I'll leave this one. This one looks, looks, looks kind of catchy. Okay. And then we hit next and then it's going to be a video post. We could publish it now or we could schedule it, but we'll just publish it now, but it's at 35%. So let's go ahead and publish that and then just let it, let it finalize. And then when it finalizes, it'll be the, it'll be the most recent post on your page. It'll be right there in the timeline. Okay, and then so once it's done, what I end up doing is I simply come to the ads manager. Yeah, see, so this this might take a, a couple more minutes, but um, maybe we could just start it now. So let's just go and check the box here. 
and we're going to scroll down and this is going to be video views and what we're doing here this is the second video ad that we're running out that we're rolling out and again the whole if you've caught any of my previous videos the whole objective with this is to get a few thousand people in her local area to view the video okay and then what we're going to do is build a custom audience around those people and retarget them with ad number three and that's when we'll start running conversion ads so we want to build the custom audience first right so this is what we're going to do video views and i'm going to name this one um this is going to be video views let's go number two brenda Garrison. okay and i'm going to copy that i'll bring it over Okay, so that's that. And then what I'm also going to do, let me see. Okay, I didn't create a custom audience. You know what? Let, let's do that real quick. Let's, here's what I'm going to do. Let's go back. Let's go back. We're going we're gonna to build a custom audience really, really quick. Let's build a custom audience. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to retarget the people who watched video number one. Okay. So let's create a custom audience. So go ahead and click the blue one, click on create. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go video views. Okay. Now this is going to be people who watched. Let's go with, let's go with 25%. Okay. We're gonna go 25% and we're gonna choose that business page and we're gonna retarget 25% of the people who watched this previous video, okay? So let's hit confirm and we're going to simply give it a name. This is gonna be audience name. This is gonna be um, an intro video, Brenda. Garrison intro video and we'll go 25% create audience okay now this this is what we're going to do now okay so it, it can it will take up to 30 minutes for your audience to be ready for use okay we'll notify you when your audience is ready you can also check the status okay cool so let's hit done and let's just see if we can so there's our actual audience now okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to come back to the ads manager and set up that ad let's see if, if it'll actually let it uh, allow us to do it let's see because it did say 30 minutes but let's just see if it'll if it'll allow it and it's going to take 30 minutes for facebook to to approve the ad anyways so let's just let's just see if we can proceed And then this video is almost done over here. Perfect. Okay, so now we're back in the ads manager. Let's go ahead and check that box for housing. And then we're gonna go down to video views. And this is going to be video views. Okay, so that's what you want to do first, you guys. That's that's the that's the main 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 targeting strategy is retargeting, is creating custom audiences of people who are watching your videos. Um, those are the people in your area. Those are the people that are engaging. Those are the people that you need to keep getting in front of over and over and over. Um, people who are watching your stuff. Okay, so now as I come down, I check. I click on this. And we should see that drop down. There it is right there. So intro video, 25%, Brenda Garrison. We're going to simply just go with that. Even though it's not a huge, huge audience just yet, um, that, one, that video ad is actually still running. But it's fine. It's building up every single day. It's building up, building up, building up. And, and, and I want to retarget them. So ad number two, we're going to retarget. Okay. And then the actual location... 
is going to be people living in this location. And then it's what, the, what this, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna take that and we're actually gonna stretch it out. We're gonna go off 50 miles. Okay, so we'll go off 50, scroll down. I'll put English, doesn't really matter, but I'll, I'll do it right there anyways. I'm gonna leave this open-ended. We're not targeting um, a specific group or anything like that. I'm going to exclude the actual business page. So there's the business page, I'm gonna exclude that. And what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna edit placements. So I'm gonna edit placements, I'm gonna uncheck Instagram, uncheck Messenger. And then also what I'm going to do is I am going to uncheck um, this right here and we're good with that. Okay, so through play, that's fine. Leave that, leave that. And then what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put 50 towards it and we're gonna go lifetime budget, okay? So we're going lifetime budget and we're going from the 10th. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go the next day. We're going the following day, 11th to the 18th, okay? So 11th to the 18th and I'm, going, I'm doing this one at 6 a.m. and I'm gonna end it at 6 a.m., okay? So that's, that's matching right there. And you know what, it's March 18th. I don't want March 18th. See how Facebook tries to freaking trick me? So right there, that's what I want, February 18th. And then, and then you see how they try to trick me again. They try to put at 500, these freaking jerks. Damn, Zuckerberg, you got enough billions, bro. So here we go. So now, now we're good. February 11th, 18th, 6 a.m., $50 lifetime budget. And what I do, you guys, on the videos or on, on all ads, I used to go daily budget. I used to go daily budget, 10 bucks a day, $20 a day, five bucks a day, whatever. But I, I just found that, and, and also speaking to Facebook support, where they tell me that lifetime is actually better. So rather than doing $10 a day for five days, or let's just call it, let's call it, let's call it, yeah, t as an example, instead of using $10 a day for five days um, and doing a daily budget, I'd rather just go lifetime budget and go 50, okay? And then, and then, and then it should be a five-day period, but I'm gonna stretch this one out to seven. So it's the same dollar amount, it's just structure different, lifetime versus daily, right? So calculate the daily and then just go lifetime, okay? So set the calendar for sure, and then that's that, and then we hit continue. And then what we're gonna do is let's see if that video is up and ready to go. Perfect, your video post is processing. Okay, so let's go with, let's see over here, let's hit this. Bam, there it is there. And that down, that down, um, see how that thumbnail? Let me go ahead and just, hey guys, this is Jeff Harrison. I'm right here. let's edit video. Should have been that other thumbnail. Let's go with the thumbnails. Let's just go with that one. Let's go with that one. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna come over here. Let's paste in our title. There's the title. And then we're going to scroll down, find your actual business page. Make sure this is your business page right here. Um, so go down, find your actual business page, and then make sure it's there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use existing post. Okay. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to select post right there. And we're going to look for that recent post. It should be the one at the very top. Perfect. Interested in buying a home. Click on that one. Click on the blue button continue and we are good to go. Now, normally what you would do is you would put your link to your landing page right here in the call to action button. But again, what I'm doing with this one is video views. I'm not expecting people to go to the landing page. So I'm not gonna add that landing page link just yet. 
I'm going to add send message. Okay. So, and, and again, not many people, the whole objective is to, is to um, get views out of it and, and create the custom audience. So the call to action button is not necessarily the most important at this point, at this time. So I'll just put the send message for now and just use the default. Um, and, and you can even customize the actual messaging as well, but I don't need it. I'm not going to do any of that. So start conversation. You can create a new one, but I'll just leave it at that and just hit confirm. And that's it, you guys. So that's how you set up a Facebook video ad. That's how I set up a Facebook video ad, you know, from start to finish. I'll post it on the page first and then use existing post um, and post and, and, and then grab it from there and, and run it from there. And the reason why I do it this way is because when I go and turn off the ad, the ad, the post is still there, right? When you guys do the, when you guys create ad and you don't use existing post, the moment you turn off that ad, it's off right? It's off the internet. It's off Facebook. It's nowhere to be found ever. And you just spent money on it. So the way I look at it is that, is that if we're going to spend money on it, it's like whether the ad worked or not, it was still a good post. It was still a video. It was still an image. It was still text. It was still content. So I want that post to live forever on that business page. I want people to see it forever um, on that business page. And so that's why I post it here first and then run the ad. Okay. So that right there, you guys, is start to finish. That was even showing you how to set up a, a custom audience. Custom audiences are what it's all about, you guys. Custom audiences and retargeting those custom audiences is literally the name of the game. So you just seen it all right here, you guys, in this short video. So if you haven't subscribed, man, make sure you're subscribed. Smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right, you guys. And, and also, if you're new to Facebook, if you're new to ads, if you're new to, to, to the ads manager, I'm putting together a simple, simple training that will literally show you and teach you and train you from A to Z, all the most important basics that I truly believe everyone is missing. So if you're new to Facebook ads, there's a link right below, fbadsforbeginners.com. Get on my VIP and I'll, and I'll, and I'll share and, and, and send you tips and strategies of stuff that I'm doing every single day when it comes to running Facebook ads and Instagram ads as well. All right, guys, so that link is in the description. Get on the VIP list, fbadsforbeginners.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Over and out.